All right, in this video, we are going to solve these uh, quadratic trig equations. And I guess the second one is a cubic one. I'm gonna solve them between zero and two pi. And these two questions are two test questions. So that's why I'm gonna solve them. This is the difficulty you should expect to see in your test in this chapter. First equation here, we have cos two theta and then we have sine theta. When we have cos two theta and sine theta, we gotta convert cos two theta into sine theta. So I know the equation is cos two theta is one minus two sine square theta. It's 10 sine theta minus seven equals to zero. I'll multiply the four into the bracket. So four minus eight sine square theta plus 10 sine theta minus seven equals to zero. I'll combine all my like terms and write it in order. So negative eight sine squared theta plus 10 sine theta minus negative seven plus four is just negative three equals to zero. Now I'll divide everything by negative one because I like to have my first term as positive. So eight sine squared theta minus 10 sine theta plus 24 equals to, sorry, plus three equals to zero. So now I wanna factor this, this is a complex trinomial. So what multiplies to eight times three, which is 24, and what adds to a negative 10? The two numbers are negative four and negative six. So I have eight sine squared theta minus four sine theta minus six sine theta, plus three equals to zero. I'll factor by grouping. So my common factor here is four sine theta, and I'm left with two sine theta minus one. Here my common factor is negative three, and I'm left with two sine theta minus one equals to zero. So two sine theta minus one, four sine theta minus three, equals to zero. So here my solution for sine theta is one over two, and over here my solution for sine theta is three over four. I can solve both of these using the cast rule. Using my cast rule, I know sine is positive in my first two quadrants. To find the acute angle, in this case, you can use your uh, calculator or you can use special triangles. Either way, you should get the acute angle to be pi over six. And then my first solution is just pi over six right there. My second solution is pi minus pi over six, which is five pi over six. Solving this one over here, again, sine is positive in the first two quadrants. Find the acute angle, I'll do the sine inverse of three over four in my calculator. This one cannot be done with special triangles. So you get approximately 0 0.85 if you round to two decimal places. So my first solution here is 0 0.85. My second solution is pi minus 0 0.85. And if I do that in my calculator, I will get 2.29. So in this question, I have four solutions in total. Let's go to the second question, which is the harder of the two questions by quite a bit. First of all, we have a cubic equation here. Second of all, they're all cos two theta. So we're gonna solve this all in terms of cos two theta. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this to the left side. So I have four cos cubed two theta plus eight cos squared two theta minus five cos two theta equals to zero. Now I can common factor out a cos two theta from this. So I factor out a cos two theta. I'm left with four cos squared two theta plus eight cos two theta minus five equals to zero. Again, this is a complex trinomial, so I'll factor with my man method. Four times negative five is negative 20. My addition is positive eight. 
my two numbers are positive 10 and negative 2. So I have cos 2 theta out here. And I have 4 cos squared 2 theta plus 10 cos 2 theta minus 2 cos 2 theta minus 5 equals 0. I'll factor this by grouping. So cos 2 theta, I'm going to use square brackets now to make things a bit easier. My common factor for these two is 2 cos 2 theta. I'm left with 2 cos 2 2 theta plus 5. And over here, my common factor is just negative 1. I'm left with 2 cos 2 theta plus 5. But then if I write this in fully factored form, it's cos 2 theta times 2 cos 2 theta minus 1 times 2 cos 2 theta plus 5. This all equals to 0. So here my solution is just cos 2 theta equals 0. Here it's cos 2 theta equals 1 over 2. And here it's cos 2 theta equals negative 5 over 2. Just have to solve these to get my final solutions. So for cos 2 theta equals to 0, that's an exception case. I'm going to use my cos graph to figure that out. So cos 2 theta means my k value is 2, which means my period is pi. I'm going to have two cycles between 0 and 2 pi. That's two cycles right there. This is 2 pi. This is pi over here, which means this is in the middle, which is pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 2, which makes this pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So cos theta is 0 at these four points. So I have four solutions here. Theta equals pi over 4, comma, 3 pi over 4, comma, 5 pi over 4, comma, and 7 pi over 4. So four solutions for this first one here. I'm going to have another four solutions for this one. So let me solve this. Cos 2 theta equals to 1 over 2. I'm going to use my cast rule for this one. Cos is positive in my first and last quadrant. To find the acute angle, you can either do cos inverse of 1 over 2 or use your special triangles. Both ways, you'll get i over 3. And then I know that my solutions for 2 theta over here are going to be pi over 3 and 2 pi minus pi over 3, which is 11 pi over 3. Now, in order to solve these for, oh, sorry, not 11 pi over 3, 6, 2 pi, let me do this on my calculator, 2 pi minus pi over 3 is 5 pi over 3. That's what I thought. Did my calculation wrong? 5 pi over 3. So now to find my thetas, I want to divide by 2 on the other side. So here theta equals pi over 6, and here theta equals 5 pi over 6. So I got my first two solutions for this one, but since our period is, is a, a k value is 2, we're going to have four solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So to find my next two solutions, I need to find my period. I kind of stated earlier, but I'll show the formula 2 pi over 2. My period is just pi. I'm just going to add pi to these two solutions. The first solution, pi over 6 plus pi is 7 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6 plus pi is 11 pi over 6. So these are my four solutions for cos 2 theta equals 1 over 2. 
for cos 2 theta equals negative 5 over 2, there are no solutions here because for sine and cos, your ratio has to be between positive and negative 1. If you do the cos inverse of negative 5 over 2 or positive 5 over 2, you'll just get a math error in your calculator because a cos wave is always between a maximum of 1 and a minimum of negative 1, assuming there are no transformations. So in this question, we just have eight solutions in total. These four and these four are the solutions to the problem.